Ah, 2017, the good old days. Before SoundCloud had been curb stomped into irrelevancy, the world was not infiltrated by rats, and most importantly, a year that would see a certain duo by the name of Lil Skies and Landing Cube make their mark on the game. Oh, the, the nostalgia from the video, you know, it's just full of my allergies. That's about it. <laughs> How has it already been three years since Nowadays came out? Yeah, time really flies. I remember listening to it for the first time on the beach with my girlfriend over the holidays, but nowadays, you're single as f What's good everybody, it's your boy Marvin. Yes, we are back with the uploads, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new. Also hit the like button so we can finesse our way back into the YouTube algorithm. And with no further ado, let's discuss the future of Lil of Lil Skies. <laughs> hey mom, have you seen Lil Skies nowadays featuring Atlanta Cube or now? We're reacting to Lil Skies <laughs> nowadays. We are here with a new video. It's from Lil Skies nowadays. Nowadays, sweet Landing Cube. Nowadays. I love it. It's good twerking music. <laughs> what the fuck? This, ladies and gentlemen, is why I have trust issues. Nowadays is definitely not being blasted in the clubs for girls to twerk to. It's one of many Lil Skies SoundCloud era classics where him and Landon talk about how things have changed with their newfound fame. Every time Nowadays comes on and I hear that tickle my brain, not only does the feeling of nostalgia slap me across the face, but so does a sense of sadness. No, this song is not like Jocelyn Flores where I instantly feel depressed when I listen to it, yet something about the piano in the production and lyrics like Nowadays it's not the same <laughs> Just it's a little different, especially now. Seriously, think back to December 2017 when this song released, and try to remember what your life was like. <laughs> Personally, as I've already mentioned, my life has changed a lot. Finally reached tier 3 status, it's no big deal. Also, when it comes down to the style of music that Skies and Landon are making, nowadays, it's just not the same. I really f with the new Landon Cube project called Sapphire and love how he took a more alternative route. I mean, I grew up shopping at Hollister, so I might be a little biased. Landon's, Landon's fire, that's all I'm saying. That is so fire. It sounds like some hot, like song or something you hear at Hollister. Ooh. But for real, that album is fire and Soul is one of my favorite songs of 2020. I can already see Landon having a radio or I guess a TikTok hit very soon with this style. When it comes to Lil Skies, this kills me to say because he's one of my favorite artists of all time, which by the way, if you don't believe me, literally just scroll through my channel and see for yourself. His music hasn't quite hit the same since Life of a Dark Rose and Shelby. Before y'all stand, start hunting me down in the comments threatening to hire Mario Judah as a hitman to take my so Give me a second and just hear me out. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's me again, uh, just interrupting this video with a quick quiz. For the true Lil Skies fans out there, comment down below without using Google for f sake. What are the initials to Lil Skies' real name? Is it A, KSI, B, KCF, or C, KFC? It's pretty obvious that I'm not the only one that feels this way about his newer music. Scroll through the comments of any of his songs that dropped post-2019, and you'll read things like, I'm just waiting for the life of a dark rose skies again. And replies to these comments saying things such as, Shut the f up, bruh. Just let a man evolve and become who he wants to be all that I want the old skies BS. Y'all just can't appreciate growth. <laughs> Ooh, these comment sections get heated. <laughs> Damn. Here's my stance on this nonstop war in Sky's comment section. I agree he hasn't quite been able to replicate the impact and energy of songs like Lust, I, and of course, Nowadays, but it's good that he's trying new things, even if they aren't necessarily working. An artist can't just make the exact same sounding album over and over again. Imagine if Drake never evolved and was still making projects that sounded just like Thank Me Later. He would get ripped apart for not being able to grow and mature his sound. The songs Skies has been dropping post-2019 have been different and not quite as good in my opinion, with OK even being recorded in this bathroom. Yet not every track has been a miss, with songs like Light Beam making me feel as though I'm transcending through time and space. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, that song f***ing slaps. As the wise man Lil Pimp once said, sometimes you gotta take one step back to take two steps forward. The point is, Lil Skies has four music videos with over 100 million views, countless platinum records, and diehard fans for a reason. He may be unbothered, but I'm sure he's listening to the feedback and will bless us with more hits on the level of nowadays very soon. Well, 294 million views is gonna be hard to top. I don't know, I guess it can be done, but... Oh, this, I'm going back to 2017. 
Good morning, Low Gang. What's poppin'? Oh, man. The 2017 year in review video. Where do I begin? <sighs> Karma's a so for those of you that have been dying to find out what the correct answer to the quiz was, it was B, it's not KSI or KFC. If you guessed that, you might need to go get your head checked. Lil Sky's real name is Demetrius Christopher Foos. What the f Probably pronounced that completely wrong, but yep, that's what it is. Uh, if you're expecting a prize, Call me Cardi because I got a whole lot of nothing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, pretty, 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 please hit that like button because like I said earlier, we're trying to finesse our way back into this YouTube algorithm, which is really difficult to do after taking a four month break, which I did because I had double jaw surgery. So if my face looks a little different or I'm talking different, that's why. And yeah, lastly, just let me know in the comment section down below what you think Lil Sky's future will look like. Are you excited for it? Do you think he can make a comeback in terms of the viewerships and just like creating that same kind of energy he had before? Let me know what your favorite era of Lil Sky's was. Is it the Life of a Dark Rose Skies? Is it the Shelby Skies? Or are you more excited for this unbothered and future Skies? With that being said, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.